everyone's talking about ai and you must have seen a lot of videos and you must have seen a lot of new releases by a lot of tools like figma canva adobe what not right but let me tell you something this revolution of ai isn't about replacing you it's about the designers who will learn how to weaponize it right now we are living in a strange paradox 86% of the creators are using gen ai tools but less than 1% of the companies can call themselves ai mature you know that gap between playing with an ai tool and building with ai tools that gap is exactly where the new design leaders are going to be born Welcome to the first ever case study of designer where we are focusing on telling you every single thing about what you can do in this state of the AI world and what is the future like. Watch till the end because I have a surprise for you. The illusion of progress. The problem isn't adoption. It's illusion. Everyone is actually trying AI tools today, right? Designers prompt, they generate, they post, but that's not progress in my opinion. I think that's play. Think about it. If 10 designers generate 10 different logos in 10 seconds, then design won't be a differentiator anymore, right? Exactly. That's where your decision making comes in. The world honestly does not need any more designers using AI, right? It needs people who can tell AI what to build, why to build it and where it exactly is going to fit. Let's dive deeper into the smartest design team of the world in my opinion which is Uber. At Uber, designers are not trying to create different things with AI and definitely they are not using AI to make things pretty. They are using it to validate designs faster. At Spotify, AI is helping them to test out hundreds of interfaces within seconds. Every one of them started small, you know. One designer, one process, one automation. That's how exactly revolution begins, right? Even in the days of Apple, right? When the first iPhone came out, Microsoft CEO was calling it a bluff, right? Five hundred dollars, fully subsidized with a plan. I said that is the most expensive phone in the world, and it doesn't appeal to business customers because it doesn't have a keyboard, which makes it not a very good email machine. Now, it may sell very well or not. I, you know. We have our strategy. We've got great Windows mobile devices in the market today. We you can get a, a Motorola Q phone now for ninety nine dollars. It's a very capable machine. It'll do. सबको बोला जा रहा था कि Apple won't be able to do this because hey, we need corporate people need that physical keyboard. But boom, it becomes the best thing to ever exist in an iPhone, and now being replicated in every single phone that is being created. think about it part number 2 the designer's advantage here's where you guys actually hold the upper hand in my opinion you understand emotion context aesthetics which ai can never do at least in today's world so when ai actually floods the market with generic outputs you win by building filters frameworks and feedback loops automated by ai you become the creative director of the machine you train it tweak it implement it however you want and have fun but here's the interesting part i have seen a lot of designers not give the ai tool proper context for it to actually understand the brand and the position it's actually working in so you can definitely work on this and all of this is not automation by the way this is augmentation and a designer who understands the differences between these two are going to be the winners part number 3 the new design stack so let's make this practical now for all of you all right i have seen that in 2025 there are three pillars to this stack first is the ai brand system not just color palette but prompt systems negative prompts approved model outputs the second pillar agent assisted design figma's new make feature freepix ai spaces all of these tools can definitely help you create amazing agentic ai designs which can iterate test contrast for you guys and generate code in a snapshot the third the most important one creative factories Canva's AI and Adobe's AI can help you make thousands of different design styles, right? Where you will be actually making hundreds of on-brand variants in hours because you are not designing one banner anymore. You are designing a machine that designs thousand banners with your brain at the core. This is such a vast topic which can actually cover MCPs as well. So if you want a detailed video, let me know in the comments. Lastly, the part four, the hard truth. AI is not replacing bad designers; it's exposing them. Because when everyone will be able to design faster, the question shifts: Who can design with depth? Who can understand business goals, data, emotion, etc., etc., and make something that feels human? That's exactly your moat. Moat is basically a USP, a differentiating factor. even that applies to you as a designer 
not just businesses. So stop waiting for the perfect AI tool. Master the imperfect one first because that's where the loophole exists. Make it do tons of things that even creators couldn't design and imagine, which is a possibility from that exact tool. All right, now let's zoom out. Every big creative revolution had a big boom, a defining moment. The printing press made the knowledge scalable, Photoshop made creativity digital, and now AI is making imagination infinite. The only question that matter now is, will you adapt fast enough to direct it before it directs you? Crazy. The designers who are gonna win in the next coming decade won't be the one just who make things good. They'll be the one who make systems that keep getting better. Because the real creative skill now is learning to design with infinity at your fingertips. Let me know if this actually opened your mind a little bit and because I am planning a lot of videos now on this channel. So whatever demands that you have, just let us know in the comments. I would definitely love to cover all of the important areas of how AI is actually going to be changing a lot of things, show you a lot of walkthroughs, tutorials, and how you can actually become a future-proof designer with AI on your fingertips. See you in the next one.